about one minute to the distinguished gentleman from New York, Mr. Israel. The gentleman from New York is recognized for one minute. I thank my very good friend from Maryland, the ranking member of our budget committee. I thank him for his leadership and for his common sense and for advancing approaches that make the right investments and the right priorities in this country, investments that expand the middle class, investments that provide for a balanced approach and reduce our debt. Mr. Speaker, I rise to oppose the RSC budget. As House Democrats, we believe that we need solutions-based budgets, not ideology-based budgets. We need solutions-based budgets that rest on three pillars. Number one, that take a balanced approach and reduce debt because we need to reduce debt, but do it in a balanced way. Number two, that protects the middle class because the middle class is still struggling. Make sure that the middle class is protected. And number three, that make the right and smart investments in the right and smart priorities. That don't ask us to forsake research in uh, cures and treatments for disease. That don't allow China to move ahead of us in research and development, engineering, science and technology. That keep us competitive uh, in the world. So we want budgets, solutions-based budgets. Mr. Chairman, I yield the Never. gentleman another minute. I thank the gentleman. The gentleman is recognized for additional minutes. So we want these solutions-based budgets that achieve these three critical priorities. And the way we get to those three critical priorities is through one thing, and that is compromise. It is the ability of both sides of the aisle to pursue these three priorities in a balanced way. The budget before us right now is not about compromise. It is about ideology. It is not about common sense and solutions. It is about extremism. The American people have sent us here to get things done, to find solutions to move them forward. Let's not go backwards, Mr. Speaker. Let's not continue gridlock, Mr. Speaker. Let's find a balanced approach that rests on compromise and supports the middle class. And that is why I rise today in opposition to the budget before us. And I thank my distinguished friend from Maryland.